Hello, it's Randy Duck and welcome back for another video. Uh, this time we've got two replays for you in the tier 8 French premium heavy tank, the Nomad uh, SM. This is the unskinned version of the Nomad, but it is essentially exactly the same tank. Um, and it's a tank I started playing recently and I've really enjoyed it. It's, it's, a, it's got absolutely devastating clip, you know, it's got five shot auto loader um, 300 alpha per shot so like a 1500 clip potential um, which is pretty much t uh, well, if at tier 8 you can clip I think almost every tank in the, in the game pretty much anyway so if you hit all your shots you, you're just going to be able to pop around the corner to delete someone uh, it does have quite a long reload um, but it has reasonable armor when you're top tier so you can block a few shots and yeah, I've really enjoyed playing it. So the first replay here with uh, Rossi, uh, there is no fun police in the game on here on Fearpool Ridge. So I'm gonna push up to the sort of heavy flank area, knowing that it does have 10 degrees of gun depression, this tank, and like I say, reasonable armor. Um, so I'm hoping to be able to get into a location where I might be able to block a few shots in, in, and allow myself to get my clip in and get a bit of damage in, maybe even pick a bit of resistance up because we're going to be that sort of frontline brawler in, in this engagement. So here we go, we're pushing up, like I said, this spot here is, is a very good spot but also quite risky um, when it's artillery in the game, but there isn't any of that to worry about. We do have this Hellcat who's just sort of all over extended on the ridge and we get a little bit punished in this engagement because there's lots of angles onto us. Um, we're trying to get ourselves behind the rock and sort of limit it to uh, where then we can get shots in. But I've got slapped up by this diamond back and there's like too many angles sort of fighting me at the moment and it's causing me all sorts of pain. So at this moment, as you can imagine, I'm kind of concerned, screaming at Rossi going, oh, oh this could be the end. Um, but fortunately, I managed to sort of back up, get into a location where I'm, I'm limiting the angle now of where they've got shots on. Um, and I'm going to sit and try and get my reload out. Um, but I'm going to keep moving, like I say, going to keep wiggling. Just not going to make it easy for uh, people to shoot me. I'm going to make it as difficult as I can. Uh, I don't want to say sit there, stay you while I'm waiting for this reload to come out. Um, but I have picked up a little bit of assistance um, and a thousand damage. Now we've got an opportunity to take out this Tiger, put two shots in, take him out. Um, that's a tank out of the game. Um, it's 14-11 at the moment, so it's looking pretty good at, at, at the moment, but like, I have lost a lot of my hit points. I'm down to sort of just shy of 700 hit points now. I am concerned this Palinint is going to go straight over the top of the ridge to me, but in theory, if he did, there's a lot of tanks behind me that he should, he should get deleted. Uh, not that that always happens, but I can't, I can only... Plan, you know, I can't plan for everything, so I'm hoping that if he does sort of force send over the top of me, that he would get shot uh, by the enemy team behind me. Um, we've got this sort of uh, Swedish tank, medium tank in front of us, and he is clippable. I've got three shots left, so that's 900 on an, uh, an average roll, um, so I should be able to take him out. But there is this sort of full health paladin, or almost full health paladin with him, and it's risky. I don't want to get caught in a situation where I push to take this guy out. And then the Paladin full sends me. I really want my heavy tanks to sort of push up a little bit with me um, so that I've got that support. But I'm going to make the play. I'm going to try and take him out. I get one into him. I'll put the second one in. Unfortunately, I leave him on 57 hit points. I would like to finish him off to get that gun out of the game. Um, but that Paladin's now sort of pushed up. And that's not possible for me at the moment. Um, I'm concerned. Well, I'm not concerned, but I'm sort of being conscious. I'm looking on the map on the other side of the map. Uh, just in case they win the other side and then, and then I have to rush back to get the resets. So I want to try and get as much damage out as I can before that happens. We've dumped our clip, we then get shot by the Diamondback and that's put us on a one shot to anything in the game now. Um, and there, that was, I could have done without that to be honest with you. But I felt like my team wasn't pushing in, they didn't seem to push in until I engaged. Um, and also I've got Rossi with me in the general. That's not a tank which is going to be able to take a lot of shots, obviously it's got no armour. Um, but looking at the map, it looks like the rest of the damage is now going for our base. Um, and I need to get back there quickly, because this tank, it's got reasonable 
mobility, but it's not quick by all means. You know, obviously you have that little bit of armor, like the tech tree version of this tank has no armor, uh, but lots of mobility. This is the opposite, you know, it doesn't have as much mobility. It's still got reasonable mobility, but it trades up for that with the armor. Um, so I need to be leaving quickly so I don't get caught in a situation where they put three in the cap and we can't get the reset. Um, because I'm with Rossi in a platoon mate, um, he's obviously in a tank which has got a little bit of camo. I'm sort of speaking to him, I'm saying, look, I can't push out because I'm on a one shot here. You're going to need to spot and then I can sort of save my clip and I'll hopefully be able to give you some assistance so we can get this reset in. So it's 50 seconds on the clock. Um, I'm not panicking because I know that obviously Rossi's going to go and light them. This cap is not very well defended. So if they're just sitting in this open, they get spotted out, <laughs> they're going to get absolutely farmed. Um, and here we go, Rossi has spotted them, so I'm just going to go for the reset, it's got one in. In this sort of situation, you want to make sure you split your shots. So don't shoot your whole clip into one tank. Do what we'll do what I did there, split my shot, I got the reset in all of the tanks, and now it's um, like a two minute on the reset. If I just dump my whole clip into one tank, um, then obviously the other tanks have still got all the uh, cap points. Um, so now we've got plenty of time to sit here and get another reload off. Um, and we don't have to worry about getting capped out because obviously both me and Rossi are in autoloaders so we all dumped our shot into the same tank and we could have been in trouble uh, but now we've got plenty of time it, this is the sort of bit where you're like oh, I wish I was in a single shot tank so I could be getting these shots in um, but yeah it's not too too long we're almost there on the reload um, you know, we've got a 20 sort of 6 second reload there and now it's just a case of trying to pick up the, the remaining damage left in this game um, not quite spotting this guy. I'm thinking I'm going to just have to full send because I think this game's going to be over. But he then gets lit, light, lit up, this Centurion. I bounce one shot and we go for the second one before he ducks down. We do manage to take out that picking up a kill, putting us onto five kills, I believe. So we need one more to secure the top gun. Um, I'm not, at this point, I'm, I don't really think I'm going to get there, but I'm going to go for it anyway, see if we can get to this uh, prototype and pick up our top gun. We've already secured the uh, brothers, as long as I don't die here, which is obviously possible because I am on that one shot. Uh, but I want to try and make the most out of we can. We do get lit up, but this uh, prop is not looking at us, and we manage to clip it out before he's able to turn. Securing the brothers, picking up 10 crews behind us, between us, sorry. And that's it for the first game. So we've got six kills, 4,400 damage, um, 596 assistance. We've got the ace tanker, got the brothers, got the top gun. And you see Rossi there had a big game as well. I think he got 5k damage um, and 3k assistance on me at the end there. So, yeah, decent game, decent, you know, platoon play at the end. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this one and we've got one more to come. Hey, thanks for staying with us. Um, so we're back for the second and final replay of the video and we are on the clock. We are very top tier again, which is brilliant. Um, we have one fun police to contend with. Um, so, not too bad. You know, obviously on proc, the fun police can really ruin your game, but when you've only got one to worry about, you know, at least you can count the reload. And you can limit the, the, the chance that they've got to shoot at you. I mean, I say limit because you can't stop it. Um, but yeah, so we're going to move into proc. We're still going to take the aggressive position in the middle. We do have good gun depression on this tank and we have a decent uh, turret armour. Um, so we can use the ridge lines quite nicely. Um, there is RT, so we're going to have to sort of move around a little bit, try and lose our spot. If we can try and take out the light tanks, um, then it's going to make our life so much easier. And thankfully, this little light tank is just throwing this tank away um, and allowing us to get a free kill and get rid of one of them. Uh, so we've only got one more light tank to contend with. Um, it is one of them really light, so it's going to be rushing around like um, a hero. Um, so yeah, but if we can get rid of him, it's going to like I say, make our life a lot easier. We're not going to get spotted as much on this ridge. Uh, we're going to try and finish our clip and just get on this reload. We're going to poor old Churchill. We're going to put two on him when he's crossing to get into position. Um, and now we're reload. We're going to try and lose our spot um, and just relocate a little bit so we don't get hit by this artillery or you know, at least make it a little bit harder for him. Um, because we've got nothing else we can do while we reload. We could poke up and spot, but at this point I don't want to because they're all lit at the front anyway. The second I poke the ridge, I will get spot uh, lit up. 
um, and then the enemy can shoot at me. So at this moment, I'm going to sort of stay lit and wait, unlit and wait for my reload to come off um, before we poke and look for some more shots. Um, but already we had a decent start. You know, we've got 1,200 damage, a little bit of assistance, and a kill. Um, so we're going to poke and see if we can get a few into his panther. We get one in. We're hoping we're going to get a second in. Um, we're not going to go for the third, but this Churchill's still there. Uh, sorry, mate, um, but we managed to take out that poor little uh, tier six. But we do pick up another little kill, and then we pick up the kill on the other light as well. So that was a really nice clip. Unfortunately for me, this. Persian is um, kind of put me in a real, he's a bit of an annoying spot at the moment because he can poke up and just get shots into me. Um, so yeah, we've got to be a little bit careful of him. I'm hoping he's going to sort of stay down. I kind of want our artillery, our fun police to shoot at that sort of location to keep him down so I'm able to get, you know, pop up and get shots. Unfortunately, this doesn't seem to be happening. You see, every time I'm sort of going for some shots, he's poking and looking for the side shots. That is the risk of being in this location. Um, I'm going to see if I can get a shot because this Tiger P was crossing. Unfortunately, I got punished there, and then you go to Persia and put some more shots into me. Um, so there's enough of playing there. I, I, I probably should have moved earlier. It was only the fact that that Tiger P was crossing. I wanted to try and take him out before he pushed down the one line and spotted all our tanks up. Um, but I can't use that space at the moment now because that Persian has the shots on me there. Every time I poke, he's going to get an easy shot into the side of me. So I'm having to relocate. I'm having to adjust. Um, and hope our artillery or some tanks shoot him when he overextends that ridge. Um, I'm going to have a little look to see if I can get some side shots into him. But I'm a little bit concerned. You see, I'm sort of scanning over to the hill. But there's probably some tanks on there. Um, so that's going to be a bit awkward. And I do get lit up when I poke. So I decided, you know what, I can't use that location either. Um, so I'm going to have to adjust again. And what I want to do is go to... The, a little bit where I was, but on the other side of the ridge, further to the right, closer to the one line, to, to, to mean that the Persian can't shoot me as easily, um, from, from, you know, because you'd have to really extend to get the shots into me. The danger is I get caught out crossing now, so that's why I've got my gun looking at, at the Persian where he was going to potentially be, and I'm just hoping that I don't get lit up before I get across. I do get spot, spotted now, I'm just hoping I bounce a shot, which I do, and I actually get into this little dip. The reason I didn't want to go here at the start was because it's easier for the artillery to hit you. Um, but that's kind of where I'm left to do now. I need to try and get some shots into this uh, one line and talk to the fun police. Uh, right and Curie does get a shot into me. Unfortunately, no, fortunately for me, he doesn't really do a lot of damage and just splashes. Um, but it is just a, you know, a friendly reminder he's still in the game. Um, but I do want to, yeah, I'm looking for, when that Persian gets slapped by our fun police and you can see me, I was just desperately looking to see where the good shot bit is, um, but I couldn't quite find it. I'm going to wait unlit now while my reload goes off again, um, because obviously I don't want to get shot by the fun police, um, so there's no point poking at the moment while I've got no shots, but my immediate attention is going to be down the one line, because if we can kill those guys in front, it's going to allow space for hopefully our guys at our heavy tank sitting on the 1-2 line to push over and we can you know, gain count some control of this uh, map basically um, and really just sort of pressure the uh, enemy. So we managed to pick up two kills in that clip. Uh, we're going to pull down, uh, we're going to go on a reload again and we're going to relocate now because I don't want to be sitting here again. The article is already shot at me so I know he can hit me. Um, I'm going to move uh, again to a different location. Um, hoping that he'd have to you know, maybe turn, lose angle to get a shot on me and maybe at that point uh, shoot someone else instead. So um, he's looking pretty good, it's 11-7, um, I've got 3,400 damage um, and I can't remember how many kills I've got but I think I might be on like 5 or 6 kills so I'm having a decent game. Um, at this point, I'm waiting for the guy, our friendly uh, greenies to move down the 1-2 uh, because at that point they, they should spot up the remaining TDs sitting in that location and I'll be able to get shots into them from here. I also want to try and take out that Persian to get a bit of revenge if I uh, can. Um, you know, he's played well, um, but I, you know, I would like to try and take him out. So I've got an opportunity to do that now. Um, it looks like he's cracked in place and we managed to take him out picking up our sixth kill, six or seventh kill. But then I then get shot um, from the hill. So I've got to back up, uh, there's, a, there's something on that hill um, and I am now on the one shot so I've got to be very very careful. Um, I'm going to move over, here you go, I think we're on six kills, 
Um, I'm going to get closer to the hill because I think that's where the rest of the damage is. Um, and hoping that maybe I can either uh, get some shots in or poke up and get some assistance in um, when we get there. Because we are sort of ahead of most of our team. There's the GW over there, the front piece. He's just shot. We saw that shot go out, which is good to just remember. We know he's not going to be able to shoot at us for, for the time being. Um, we're going to get try and get a shot into this uh, Shashka. Uh, there is a TD on the hill, um, which he could potentially shoot us here. He's got slim shots at us, but we're going to try and get a clip and pick up that kill, uh, which we do. Um, and now there's just one tank left remaining. Um, now what I could... Oh, so I'm seven kills here, so I could, I'm on for a Radley's. Um, I'm on a reload, but he's up, he's come unlit. Now I could poke to spot him, get the rest of the assistance, but I don't want to poke because I don't want to light him. I'm on a reload and I want the kill rather than the assistance. So I'm going to wait and hope he doesn't get lit up by a friendly team. Unfortunately for us, he does get lit up um, and I wasn't able to pick up that kill. But we still had a decent game um, and all what's left is to get to that result screen and we can see how we got on. So we picked up seven kills, got that Devastator, over 2k base XP, just shy of 5,000 uh, damage, I think 1,000 assistance at the end, also got the high caliber ace tanker, and yeah, so uh, thank you for watching, thank you for putting up me rambling, and as always, happy tanking. Enemy in sight!